Well, it's really windy outside and it should be a great day for photos. It's super cold. Um, I'm excited to see what kind of shots we get. going down to Paradise Valley, which is in Montana. It's between Livingston and, uh, and Gardner, which is like right outside of Yellowstone National Park. We're just gonna be a little bit out of Livingston. We're gonna see what kind of photos we can get. The weather is nasty. That means it's a great time to take photos. I'm really excited. We're gonna, we're gonna give this a shot and see, uh, see what kind of photos we get. And I'm excited to bring you along with me. So, uh, Let's get started. Nothing quite like a big old fluffy coat when you're getting ready to take some photos and it's really cold outside. Um, I guess we'll see what we get. Um, yeah, exciting. Livingston is such a unique community because there's people that come here from all over the world. This area of Montana has some of the best access to national parks and wildlife anywhere in the world. It is absolutely phenomenal really close to Yellowstone, the Grand Tetons, a day's drive away from um, Glacier National Park, the Bitterroots, the list goes on. There's, I mean, just within one day's drive, you can be, I mean, almost anywhere. And so what's cool is so many of these different areas, the areas around this area look so different. And that's what's really cool. Right as you're leaving Livingston and going into the valley, everything starts to change weather-wise. So what could be one way in the valley could be totally different in Livingston and vice versa. So we're gonna go to Carter's Bridge. During the flood season, the water comes up, um, I mean, really almost all the way into the parking lot there. Now it's down really low. This is like photo heaven here. And I'm, I'm really excited. We've got some really cool things going for us today. Look at that bridge, my word. So let's grab out my camera case and see what we got here. Nope, 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 I got it. I thought for a second there I, I was missing my SD card. I think I found one right here. There we go. Um, it's never, it's never a good idea to forget your SD card. And I've done that before. I went all the way down into Yellowstone, like all the way to Yellowstone Lake and forgot my SD card, but it was really early in the season. And there were like no places to pick one up. It was kind of a bummer. So here we go. Let's go, uh, let's go take some pictures there's this Airstream camper and I'm gonna try to get some photos of that Airstream camper and uh, see what I can get it to look like. So I'm gonna set you down um, in a safe place and go take some photos. are just 
killing me. I'm not sure whoever does the power lines, but my word, if you could try to like put them in places that are less obvious for photographers, that'd be incredible. Although I'm sure that'd be a lot of work too. Okay, we have, we have this cool bridge here. I wanna move you over, over there. Guys, guys, you gotta check that out. Man, the depth there is crazy. Okay. I wish I could just show you this. Actually, you know what? I am. Check, check this out. Oh, come on, focus, focus. Look at that, it's so beautiful. Okay, <laughs> guys, I'm super pumped. You know what? Sometimes, sometimes it just takes forever. Sometimes it just takes forever to get off the couch and to actually like go take photos. I don't know, maybe maybe you're not like me and maybe that's not a struggle for you. But sometimes like to actually get out when the photo taking is the best, you really gotta go out in bad weather. And right now, my fingers are freezing, but that's okay because we're getting some great shots and in the end, it'll be totally worth it. And it's interesting how a lot of the struggles in life are the same way. The more adversity you have, you can also get more reward at the same time. And that's that's one thing that photography and, uh, and video making and filmmaking and just life in general has taught me. And uh, so, like if you're ever facing a trial or something in your life that's difficult, look at it as an opportunity. And you know, sometimes also the hardest trials make the best stories. Um, so let's, uh, ooh. Hold on, I've got to take a picture here. I was talking and I just... Oh yeah, that's cool. Um, I'm still having, man, those dang power lines. Let me tell you what. Let me take a picture of you watching me. Cause this wouldn't be creepy at all. Hey, there you are. Let's go inside and get warmed up. It is a phenomenal place. If you've never been down Paradise Valley, you should definitely do it. Um, this is just one pit stop out of many. Um, we're gonna be going to a lot of different public places down the valley. Um, this is just the first one it's a fishing access. You can come here and, uh, and go fishing or rafting. I suggest rafting in the summertime. Um, sometimes it gets so cold here. We powered through the first one and it's going to be the first of many. If you like the video, feel free to subscribe. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. If you want to see photos from episode one, be sure to check out the links in the description below. 